Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright from Econ Course Companion, and we're going to take a look at the market structure of monopoly in a very brief overview, which is part of the Theory of the Firm Key Terms series. All right. As you know, monopoly is one of the four market structures that we look at in Theory of the Firm for IB Economics. And the critical aspects of monopoly are very important to get straight. Let's take a look. So monopoly is one of four market structures with the following characteristics. There is a single dominant large firm in the industry. A sig that firm has significant control over price. That firm produces and sells a unique product with very few or not even very few with no close substitutes. And there are high barriers to entry in the industry. High barriers of entry, of entry means that it's very difficult to start up a business in that industry, right? Examples, telephone companies, water and electricity companies in areas where <clears throat> they operate as a single supplier. So the best example of this in my lifetime was when I was a kid, the, there was only one electric company. <laughs> it was, it was uh, called Cleveland Edison. And all it was was a company that had a complete and total monopoly over providing electricity to all of the west side of Cleveland. I grew up in the west side of Cleveland, Ohio, in the U.S. And guess what? That's where you bought your energy from. Um, later on, they figured out ways of breaking up the monopolies and, um, of course, diversifying the sources of electricity. And now you can pick the electric company that you get your electricity from. But that's just one example. Another example um, of a monopoly is Microsoft. Um, in the 1980s, and still to this day, they have an enormous sh market share of all of the operating systems that operate all non-Apple computers in the world, so all PCs and desktops in the world. And they've tried to use that power um, to force their customers to use other products like Microsoft Word, Microsoft um, PowerPoint, um, but the best example really was in the early 1990s. They, they owned the operating system market, um, Microsoft did, 90% market share, and they created a system inside Windows operating system where it only could use the internet browser that Microsoft created called Internet Explorer. And that kind of makes sense, right? Like, on one hand, like, you can say, like, oh, it's monopolistic power, but really it's like Microsoft had the power and they own the operating system of the PC. So why couldn't they have the operating system for the internet? Because really the operating system for us as end users of the internet is the web browser. Well, anyway, the United States Justice Department took them up on monopolistic um, charges of you know, abusing their market share. And they were found guilty, of course, because they had such a market share in the operating system. And they were forced to open up their code to allow other um, browsers to come into the market. So monopolies are pretty cool in the sense that they have total power, right, over the control of price. Not complete, well, they have total power, but they can't just charge anything they want because otherwise no one will buy their product, right? But this market structure creates a scenario that really gives us a lot to study in theory of the firm because the revenue curves and the cost curves can be manipulated because they have total ability to control the price of their product okay so that's just a quick overview so that you have an understanding of what monopoly means so that when we get to building all of the graphs that come from cost revenue and profit and then we apply it to the market structure of monopoly you'll understand how firms behave because ultimately it's all about how firms behave because firms are made up of people and economics is the study of that human behavior. All right, my friends, be good to one another and I hope you found this video to be helpful and we'll talk to you in a bit.